Well, this is the Tasmanian devil. He's um, supposed to be the nearest living relative of the tiger. Dr. Um, Eric Geiler is a lecturer in zoology at Hobart University and is one of the home state experts on the tiger. People sometimes get confused between devils and tigers. In fact, it's amazing the number of people who in conversation do get, do suffer from this confusion. Pretty nasty, are they? Yes, uh, you can see he's not exactly friendly disposed. He'll, um, if he could get half a chance, he'd take my finger with him, wouldn't you? I won't have you holding him there all day. I imagine he's probably better off in the box if he's as yeah, uh, we'll have all badly blood, tempered as you make All his blood down in his head, and he doesn't, wouldn't like that, would you? Uh, Eric, are these plentiful in Tasmania now? Yes, uh, in mo many parts of the state you get uh, very great numbers of them running about, so much so that farmers have a bit of trouble with them eating sheep and such like things. But, um... Well, was it always so? No, although you can, this, is, this is quite true. Although you go into parts of the country where there are lots of them, you, you don't really uh, see many of them. And they do suffer from fluctuations in numbers. Now, if you, by 1908, these allegedly became very scarce, and it's taken them from 08 to 60 to recover. Well, now, the same thing has allegedly happened to the tiger. Um, he went, became scarce about 08, and now he uh, uh, should be per coming back if he's following anything like the same population cycle as these guys. But um, you can go into thick country and you, uh, where there are a lot of devils, but you rarely see the things. Um, this so supports the theory that the tiger might be there. He could easily be there, because if you, if you don't see these where there are a lot of them, what chance have you got of seeing a tiger where there are very few of them? What other things could people get confused with? Uh, the, who makes sightings, or what are supposed to be sightings of the tiger? Well, you've got the tiger cat, which is uh, about so long, um, with a long spotted tail. You've got the native cat, which is about half as big as a tiger cat, which is also spotted on the body, but no spots on the tail. People get a bit confused with those. And also you've got the tabby cat, the ordinary pussy cat gone wild. Um, some of them grow to an enormous size in the bush, and uh, uh, people see these. I've seen one myself um, on one occasion, which was so big that I was almost certain I'd seen a tiger, but it wasn't until I got a pair of field glasses on that I realized it was a pussycat, because a pussycat's tail is carried at about the same sort of an angle as a, as a tiger's, and people can get confused then. What's your own opinion about the tiger? Well, um, I don't know. About five years ago, I thought they were pretty sure to come back. Um, but now I'm not so sure, um, because we've had a lot of people looking for them recently, and, and they found uh, apparently very little evidence that they're around. And um, I'm not as happy about their recovery as I used to be. I must confess I'm getting a bit pessimistic. There are plenty of sightings still, Eric, from people who see these things. What's your opinion of these sightings? Well, some of them are um, authentic, but many of them, I think, bear a direct relationship to the distance from the nearest, the nearest pub. And the closer the pub, the more the sightings. 